the man in the glass. You get what you want and struggle for self. And the world makes you king for a day. Just go to that mirror and look at yourself and see what that man has to say. For it is not your father, your mother, or wife whose judgment you must pass. The fellow's verdict that must count the most in your life is the one staring back in the glass. Some people may say you are straight shooting chum and call you a wonderful guy. But that man in the glass says you only a bum if you can't look him straight in the eye. He's the fellow to please, never mind the rest, for he's with you clear up to the end. And you have passed your most difficult test if that man in the glass is your friend. You may fool the whole world down the pathway of years and get pats on the back as you pass. But your final reward will be heartache and tears if you cheated that man in the glass. See, once upon a time, there was a little girl named Margaret Taylor. See, she was a lively child, always searching for answers and solutions to problems. This raving desire continued to drive her to adulthood. See, Dr. Margaret Taylor, God's Burroughs, fought to secure our history, primarily through art. By these means, she and her husband, Charles Burroughs, saw a need to establish an African American History Museum. Through their pioneering efforts, the DuSable Museum came into fruition. So when you walk inside, you instantly feel, yes, this is ours. These walls sing of our people, of our history. These artifacts are ours. These are our images. Walking through the walls of any museum, people's history is revealed. Images of culture. Thus, the DuSable Museum houses our collective African spirit. United still beyond our past and the blood and the raging oceans as we sail through the middle passage. <laughs>